Say good morning. God bless you this morning. God keep you this morning. Thank you for tuning on to me once again. Praise God. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the Lord's suffering servant. The Lord's suffering servant. I'm going to read out Isaiah chapter 52. I'm going to start with verse 13. It says, See, my servant will prosper. He will be highly exalted. But many were amazed when they saw him. His face was so disfigured, he seemed hardly human. He seemed hardly human. And from his appearance, one would scatterly know he was a man. And he was sort of many nations. Kings will stand speechless in his presence. But well, they will see what they had not been told. They will understand that they had not heard about. That's also in the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 21. Chapter 53 verse 1 says, Who has believed our message? To whom has the Lord revealed his powerful arm? My servant grew up in the Lord present like a tender green shoot. Like a root in a dry ground. There was nothing beautiful or magnificent, I mean majestic, about his appearance. Nothing to attract us to him. He has despised and rejected a man of sorrow, acquainted with deepest grief. We turn our back on him and look the other way. He was despised and we did not care. Yet it was our weakness he cared. It was our sorrow that weighed him down. And he thought his trouble were a punishment from God, a punishment of his own sin. That's also in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 17. Verse 5 says, But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed from our sin. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was wiped so we could be healed. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. We have, we have left God, path to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the sin of us all. He was oppressed and treated harshly, yet he never said a word. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and the sheep is silent before the sheriff, uh, the sheriff he did not open his mouth. Unjustly condemned. He was led away. No one cared that he died without this instant. That his life was cut short and missed uh, mis stream. But he was struck down for the rebellion of my peoples. That's also in the book of Acts chapter 8 verse 23 through uh, 33. Verse 9 said, He had done no wrong. He had never deceived anyone. But he was bur burned like a criminal. He was put in a rich man grave. But it was the Lord. Good plan. To crush him and cause him grief. Yet when his life is made. An offer. For sin he will. Have many descendants. He will enjoy long life. And the, long, and the Lord. Good plan will prosper. In his hand. When he sees all that is accomplished. By his anguish. And will be satisfied, and because of his experience, my righteousness service will make it possible for many to be counted righteous, for he will bear all their sin. I will give him the honor of the victorious soldier, because he exposed himself to death. He was counted among the rebel. He bore the sin of many, and interceded for rebel. You can read that also in Luke chapter 22, verse 37. Matter of fact, I'm going to flip over there right quick. Luke, Luke chapter 22, verse 37. Okay. Luke chapter 2, verse 37. It says, I'm going to start here uh, with verse 37. I'm going to start with verse 36. It says, but now, he said, take your money. 
in a traveling bag. And if you don't have a swirl, sell your cloth and buy one. Verse 37 says, For the time has come for his prophecy about me to fulfill. He was counted among the revealed. Yes, everything written about me by the prophet will come true. Praise God. I'm going to also um, read here. You know, talking about growing, growing in Him. Praise God, growing in Him. Like having this spirit of growth, you have to grow in Him. Praise God. Um, it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eyes. That's in Psalm 32, verse 8. Therefore, lay aside all fulfillness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your soul, but he doers, but be doers, it said, but be doers, not just hearers, not just listeners, but be ye doers, but be doers of the world, and not hearers only, deceiving yourself, that's also in James chapter 1, verse 21, verse, verse, James chapter 1, verse 21 through 22, Talks about be doers, not just listening and hearers. The next one says, We should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carry away, I mean, carry about my every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things unto him who is the head, Christ. That's in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14 to 15. Abide in me, and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruits of itself unless it abides in a vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and in him bears much fruit. Well, without me, you can't do nothing. If you abide in me, and my word abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. That's in John chapter 15, verse 45, and um, verse 47. No, verse 45 and verse 7. Oh, Lord, you are my God. It says, oh, God, you are my God. Early. Will I seek you, my soul thirst for you, my flesh long for you, in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory, because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you, thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watching. Because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul follow close behind you. Your right hand uphold me. That's in Psalm 63, verse 1 through 8. Praise God. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it, for then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. That's in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. You therefore, beloved, since you know this beforehand, beware lest you also fall from your own steadfastness, being led away with the arrows of the wicked, but grow in the grace and knowledge of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to him to be the glory, both now and forever. Amen. Hey man, that's also in the book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse seventeen through eighteen. Praise God. 
And there you have it, the word. Read, study, meditate day and night. Not just only on day, not just only on Sunday, but day and night, every day. And make it a part of your life. Every day of your life. Praise God. To God bless you and God keep you. Heavenly Father, pray for those watching. God bless you. God keep you. I pray the Lord be with you and lead you and guide you. And I pray you just meditate day and night in the world and do the will of God for your life. I pray you just start somewhere because somewhere is better than not start anywhere. You know, somewhere is better than nowhere. I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would just keep your face and be obedient to God and trust Him and keep Him first in all that you do. No matter what, keep Him first. You let him know, let him know that just know that He is with you all the days of your life. And I pray no weapon form against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. Whatever you're about to do, whatever you're about to go, I don't know. I pray the Lord is protecting His angels around you, guard you wherever you, wherever you have to go and back home safe in Jesus' name at the right time in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. I just pray in my name of Jesus, in spite of what's going on in your life, I don't know what's going on in your life, only you and God know. But I pray that you would just get it together. I pray you would just put God in your business. You know, because he's always in your business. Put, he, put God in your business. I mean, get in his business, in, actually, in other words. Get in God's business in Jesus' name. But let him fix it. Let him work it out for you in Jesus' name. Let him give you the guide and instruction to do in Jesus' name. Stop trying to do stuff on your own. And, you you know, just put God in your business situation. You ask, call on the name of the Lord. For him to help you, bring you out, and bring you through it. He will do it in Jesus' name, in spite of whatever it is. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you. And I bring every sickness and every disease right now. I pray for every boy, every girl, every woman, every, woman, every man that's watching. I pray you will just be blessed. And do the will of God. Read. You know, study for yourself. Don't worry about the rest. Don't worry about what God has for you. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you and God keep you in Jesus' name. And keep your joy today. Don't let no devil in hell steal your joy today or no day. In Jesus' name, no matter what nobody said, no matter what you're facing, in Jesus' name, just trust in God. You know, he'll bring you out and bring you through in Jesus' name, whatever it is. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you and God keep you in Jesus' name. Heal upon your life right now. And I rebuke every sickness right now. I pray, Lord, just heal you right where you are in Jesus' name. You may know somebody sick. You may be sick yourself. I don't know. You may have some pain in your body every now and then. I pray, Lord, just release that pain. You know, for uh, completely out of your body in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Because you is somebody in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. He loves you in Jesus' name. I pray. Hallelujah. God bless you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, in spite of what you're going through, I don't know what you're going through. Just trust in God. Know He is able. He cares for you. He'll bring you out one way or another. Praise God. Just trust in Him and believe in Him and don't give up and don't stop on Him. Because He's not going to stop on you. Because He loves you. He wants you to get in the Word, get tuned on, do the will of God for your own life. You know, and let Him in. Let Him in your heart, your mind, and your soul. You know, it could be something great that He has for you. And I know He has something great for you. You know, you might not even see it, might not even believe but just trust in Him. But just, you know, give God a chance. When you give all everybody else a chance, the world a chance, the world is the world that... You know, you did the hard way, I mean, which is the devil way. I mean, sometimes you can just do, I mean, you can make it hard, you can make it easy. God is the easiest way. I trust in him, I believe in him, and that's the easiest way you can do it. That's the easiest way you can go. You know, I choose life within God, within Christ Jesus, I choose life. Because all that devil stuff, doing stuff that's not even lined up, all this crazy stuff, there ain't nothing that's going to leave you to death. That's it. You know, just no peace, no joy, no happiness, just always drama. Ain't nothing but the devil. You know, get some peace within Christ Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. So until next time, God bless you and your family. And remember, God love you and so do I. So you take care and have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day because you is blessed. In Jesus' name, yes, you is blessed. Hallelujah. Whether you believe it or not, you is blessed. Praise God. So until next time, you take care. And don't let the devil steal your joy today or no day. In Jesus' name. Be good to one another. Love one another. All the time. Not just sometimes. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you later.